Hi, I'm Lisa Redford, and this is Ginger Snap, a conversation in a cookie with a creative <laughs> Mainer. And this is episode 87. And guess what? It's the third, not the first, not the second, but it's, this is the third anniversary. Today's the third anniversary of Ginger Snap. Congratulations. And I'm here That's with so my great. old friend, my very old friend, my, uh, my friend. We're just like this, really. We are. <laughs> my friend, David Dodson. And I'm so excited. I'm I've known forward. Lisa for so long. Let's see, when did we first meet? Like 40, a... na- 48, 1948, I think. I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. It's been a long time. 30 years uh-huh. for me. Too, too long. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been for you. But it's been... It's, yeah, for me, it's been 27. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, David Dodson is a lot of things. He's a very creative mainer. Um, he's a songwriter. He's a singer. He's a musician. He's also an acupuncturist. But we're t- today we're talking about the uh, not that mm-hmm. that's not a creative thing. That is a yeah, it is. Thing, yeah, but yeah. We really we um. So I really wanted to interview David because he's um, wonderful and and uh, I would you sing a song for us today? I will do that. Okay. Yes. Um. This is a song uh, that I wrote for the band I'm in. I'm in a band called The Lowdown with John and Rachel Nicholas and Michael Nickerson, and <clears throat> John's a wonderful songwriter as well. As well as I am, of course. And uh, and so this is a song about trying to come up with the band, and it's called ah, Looking for the right. Lowdown. I'm going to give you a little space. It's got a little chorus, sort of. Chime in if you can. Tossing and turning, waking up from a dream. There were heavenly voices calling, like in some biblical scene. And just like Moses. All the birds in the forest that you were whistling is too. By the light of the moon And when they told him Hey, buddy boy You better slow down Slow down Said there's a reason why I got to fly I'm looking for a low down Looking for a low down Down on the ones that'll go and the low down on the ones that won't low down on the things that matter, low down on the things that don't low down on the multitudes crawling, low down to the ground, low down on the lost and low down on the found and the missing. Have faith in the power of healing, have faith in the war, have faith in the power of healing. Have faith in your life. Have faith in what you're feeling. Have faith in your wonderful wife. Have faith in the one who's driving. Have faith in the one who's cooking. Have faith in the one who's arriving. Have faith in the one who's looking for the lowdown. Looking for the lowdown. Right from the start All the angels were singing Little David, play on your heart Then the stone was thrown And the seed was sown At the terrible showdown And all that he knew was it flew straight and true? He was living in the lowdown. 
living in the low down. Living in the low down. In the low down. Living 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 in the lowdown. Oh, yeah. Woo! Pretty. Thanks. Thank Lisa. you. Yeah. Lovely. So, David, I know uh, that you were uh, born near Maine, but not in Maine. So you're not a true Mainer, but you've been no. in Maine for a long time. 32 years or something like that. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, do you know your first word? And if you don't, what do you think it might have been? I was told it was two words. Um, we were outdoors, and I was uh, looking out at, at night, and my parents said, I looked up, and I said, see ta, which was see the stars. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. Well, my first word was cookie, uh, which is my excuse for having cookies. <laughs> it's in my baby book. Yeah. Um, so David's got a cookie with him. And I, um, <clears throat> in honor of the anniversary of Ginger Snaps, I brought, I know it's backwards, I brought <laughs> the kind of Ginger Snap. So my grandmother used to make molasses cookies. But when I was little, the Ginger Snap of uh, choice for our family were these were these hard dip them in tea um, ginger snaps from a box. So that's sort of still, uh, I'm sure that's sort of still my favorite kind of, actually the ginger snap at Maze in Bath is outrageously good. And yes, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to, for example, one might want to dip it so that it, it, uh, gets nice and, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Incredible. So, um, yeah. I'm into Sammy's, I'm Sammy's back. peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Sammy's peanut butter cookies are fruit sweetened and they're illegal for me because I'm not a sugar guy. Fruit guy. sweetened. That's more mm. how possible. Okay. Except when I am. <laughs> so, David, did you have a car or a truck like when you were an adolescent or a kid or an adolescent or a young mm. adult? Oh, yeah. Really cool. And if you could get back, you would. Mm hmm. Um, <clears throat> we lived uh, way up a dirt road, up, off another dirt road, and beyond that. Off another dirt mm -hmm. road. No neighbors anywhere. And to get there, we had an old army jeep. Mm. And I think that was probably my favorite car. With the full, like the top came off, and it was uh, like a tarp? Yeah, thing? it was a tarp yeah. on there. Yeah, <clears throat> cold in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> nice. And I remember we inherited a, an old black Pontiac. Pontiac that looked like a, a gangster car from my grandparents after that. Long, like a long. Kind of long. Yeah. It had a, <clears throat> had a running board even. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a 1938 Pontiac. And I remember being in that and it swayed, you know, it was smooth because mm -hmm. I was used to doom, 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 doom. <laughs> uh, I was car sick for a couple of weeks with that thing and I didn't <laughs> like it at all. So my favorite was the Jeep. Mm. Cool. All right. So moving on to books. Are there... Uh, books that you have loved and would recommend has books have been have books been important to you in your life I would yes they that. have yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and currently I just read this one Desert Boys by Chris McCormick a uh, wonderful book he happens to be my future and son-in-law so <laughs> there it is and another book one for here. Chris <laughs> uh, we'll get the cookie out of the way <clears throat> Uh, my sister Anne. <laughs> Hi, Anne Dodson. Hi, Anne. Is a dulcimer player, among other things. A wonderful songwriter and singer. Has mm. been around Maine for a long time. One of my favorites. And she has written a wonderful instructional book. On it's called the Field Guide to Mountain Dulcimer. This is book two. Book because also we have book one. And uh, there it is. <laughs> Buy it. Go, Enjoy Anne. It. Yay! Yes. And, um, that's lovely. So that's that's out. Published mm -hmm. by Mel Bay. I mean, really, <laughs> that's the music company. So she really uh, was. I'm impressed. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Go, Sister Anne. Yeah. Um, okay. So are uh, were there albums that um, you went back to again and again and again as sort of a touchstone in your life? I well, know it's early hard to ask early it on, time. yeah, no, but early on, um, I was uh, I wanted to be the Kingston Trio. All of them. All of them, yes, right. <laughs> yes, sort of, you know, because some were serious and some yeah. were funny, and I, yeah. I kind of go for serious and funny myself. Yeah. And um, so I got myself a striped shirt, just like they had, 
and uh, started playing guitar and I played a lot of their songs. And Peter, Paul, and Mary were pretty important as, a, as mm -hmm. early on. I played those songs. And then later, I think Laura Nero's second mm. album was one of my favorite albums ever. Mm. And a lot of people don't know about her now, but boy, she was, she was the great, greatest. Yeah. Just a passionate, poetic uh, prodigy of a songwriter and singer. Mm. And uh, also, I really liked um, the band. Mm. Their first album is a mystical masterpiece, and their second is a wonderful, wonderful album, too. Mm. So those are albums that I've really mm -hmm. liked in the past. Yeah. And I I love Van Morrison's singing, some of his albums. I love mm. Eric Clapton's mm. guitar playing and Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar playing. I play electric guitar as well, and they've been, um, you know, uh, shining lights and mentors. Mm. So... Those those guys come to mind right off yeah. the bat. And there's a whole lot more. Yeah, yeah. So, David Dodson, if a movie was made about your life, what genre would it be? And who would star as you? Or who do you think they cast as you? Oh, man. Who do you get told you look like? Um, John Denver, because I have glasses. Uh, Burt <laughs> Lark. Burt Lark, because I guess they're all, 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 all that kind of look. <laughs> and uh, who else? Anybody else? Robert Redford, of course. Of course absolutely, know. yeah. Um, he's still alive. He is, but he's much older. <laughs> Thank he's much older than you are. Not that much. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What genre would it be like? Would it be an I think it folky be action of, adventure? No, I think it'd be sort of like a Monty <laughs> Python movie. That yes! could be my hope. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Michael Palin, who's well. That's that. He's my favorite Monty. He's my favorite yeah, Python. Yeah. Michael Palin. He might not be yours, but. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yeah. It could be the English version John of David Cleese. Dodson's yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, for right. Yeah. We, we've done that before, haven't we, Lisa? We talked that way. Yeah, that's yes. right. This could be the English version yeah, of so David Dodson's life. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Michael Palin, Thank for you, giving Michael us a call cool back. Yes. <laughs> I'm very pleased to do that. <laughs> Okay, uh, so David, would you sing, um, wait, before I have you sing another song. Aren't there more questions? You, yeah, uh, <clears throat> no, there aren't That's more it. questions, but I'm going to... Oh, who would play m me in the in the uh, movie? But we didn't, we just did that. It would be oh, Robert who? Red. <laughs> oh, no, I thought that was who I looked like. <laughs> okay, well, who would, well, usually who you look okay, like is who would play you. The person I think would to play me would be Bella Lugosi. <laughs> 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 I like his teeth, you know. Okay, yeah. that's a good, yeah, that's a good call. Uh, okay, um, so David has a lot of albums, and he has a website, and the way to find him is to go to his website, and he's got this new CD. It's lovely. I've listened to it a lot in my car. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's this one. I've got a song that's out a lot and, and played in mm. different places. It's on this album called Weasel Rhythm, and mm. the song is called The Farthest Field, and mm. um People are singing it around the country mm, and around the world, be. and uh, so that's exciting. And I get every every week I get somebody something in the mail that says we have a chorus in um, Portland, Oregon, mm. and, and we would like to sing your song. Is that okay with me? With with yeah, that's and really I, I always write back and say yes, please, mm. please do. Do you know it's I have a list of memorial songs that I have done and that I have thought would be appropriate at yeah. memorials, and that. Farthest Field is is, uh, yeah. is on there. Actually, Underneath the Pines is also on there because there, I think yeah. it's so poignant about the preciousness of life. And um, I have a memorial that I'm doing in Colorado in September, and that you know your your song is on that. Yeah, I've been I a big a big hit on the funeral circuit. Really, <laughs> they they love me. So if someone wants to reach you for a gig or to buy your CD, the best way to reach you is my email address Grove St thirty three. G R O V E S T as in Grove Street 33. Apparently, there's 33 of them at myfairpoint.net. My, my fairpoint. No, my. Oh, oh you're. Oh, yeah. you're. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. David's yeah. fairpoint. Yeah. That's a fair point. <laughs> That's oh a fair gosh, point. Oh my gosh, stop me. Um, okay, so I would love it if you would sing another song. Okay. I will do that. Oh, here, um, we'll I just turned 70. And so no, this is a, stop! You yeah, didn't! Yeah, I just had a 70th birthday. So um, I uh, wrote a song that's kind of like a Frank Sinatra type song. Mm -hmm. And I plan to do it at my fall show, which is coming up in Camden at the Camden Opera House, 
November 27th. Wow, and October. October 27th, thank you. Oh. Yeah, right, usually in November. I knew this. I mean, early and, this uh, and, um, I'm singing with a wonderful 20-piece big band with horns oh. uh, called Mojo, and Mojo is going to be playing on this song. So just pretend. Just pretend there's a big Frank band. Sinatra <laughs> character, which is playing by played by me, three-piece suit, little hat, comes out and starts walking up to the microphone, ladies and gentlemen. The band is playing. And the crowd's going. Never seen him dressed up before. Wow, he <laughs> cleans That's up pretty be, good that there. Be David <laughs> Hello, everybody. I was just uh, passing through, all dressed up in his fancy suit, wondering what he gonna do. Gonna tell you a little story. Every word is true. So won't you please let me be frank with you? I've seen the road I've traveled from high up on the ridge. And I've seen a lot of water go underneath the bridge. Sometimes I think I'm running out of places to explore. Maybe it's cause I'm not young. I've wasted time, I've tasted wine, partaken of the feast, and watched with a world weary sigh as everything increased. I'm having trouble fitting into the suit that I once wore. Here we go. Maybe it's cause I'm not. cold, summer was not. When I wore those blue bell bottoms and an ice cold schlitz could hit the spot. Technology that's new to me can drive me up the wall. I'm praying for Maturity, but I just learned to crawl. There's a thing on my computer, but I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's cause I'm not young, young anymore. anymore. Here we go. Let's see what those cats sing. So quick to judge, and I'm not running any marathons. Don't try to make me out one, but because I know how far to push it, I know what's left, I know what's right, and I feel comfortable in my shoes when I. Step out at night. I may be a little bit older, but I ain't no dinosaur. I'm seeing things a whole lot clearer than I did before. And I don't mind saying I love you to people I adore. Maybe it's cause spring. Sprung. Maybe it's just that there's songs to be sung. Maybe it's cause I'm not young anymore. Yay, I love that. That's going to be fun.
be fantastic. That'll be fun. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Thanks, it already, Teresa. It already was fun. She's great. She's a great interviewer. <laughs> and a wonderful singer and songwriter. You've been ginger snapped. How yeah. do you feel? I just you feel, feel just fine. I feel, you feel different? yeah, I feel very nice. <laughs> very nice. So, again, this is David Dodson, fantastic singer, songwriter, musician, all around general, just good guy. Uh, and you can get a hold of him and his music. And uh, if you n want to know anything about gigs coming up for me, I think I have about four of them coming up in June. Uh, you can go to www.lisaredman.com. That, that's a little if, fast. Let's say it again. www. W, that got that part. Lisa Redfern, like the color in the plant, dot com. And if you have... Yes. And if you want David's website, it's w. You can say it with me even It's DavidDodsonMusic.com. There's oh, a whole David bunch Dodson of inter music. interesting stuff on there. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and if you are a creative meaner, and I don't know about you, I'd like to know about you. Um, I have a long list of men and women uh, who are creative meaners who I haven't interviewed yet, but I may not know about you, and I'd like to know about you. So, anyway, thanks a lot, David. This has been episode 87, and it's the third anniversary. I mentioned that already. I think I have a bug bite. Right there. Okay. Anyway, That's good. That, uh, <laughs> we'll look into that. Uh, okay. So I'm going to sing my little ginger snap song. Actually, I'm going to sing it once and then you're going to, and then you can sing it. With okay. Me. Sure. So it goes, this has been ginger snap. That's all. Yeah. Is. Here we go. This has been ginger snap.